welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Trisha. I'm a mom of three and two of our kids are on the spectrum. And today we're going to show you how we do Lucy's PEX cards. PEX stands for, um, it's P-E-C-S, so Picture Exchange Communication System is what it stands for. And we were provided this from her school, the little book. I'm going to flip it around and I'm going to talk about it. So we were her school gave us this book right here. You can make these, I'm sure, but yeah, it's hard plastic. They've made us these for them, so she's got cinnamon toast crunch, Cheetos, Doritos, barbecue chips, um, good ripples, new barbecue, beauty share, her blanket, iPad, which we don't have here. It's at school, but. Um, So some of these pertain to at her school that they have these objects. This is our stroller that we have though, and she's got her disco lights. This is the phone we have here. So originally, okay. So when are you first start doing the system? What you're gonna do is you're gonna put the picture, like let's say this is torn chips. You're gonna put it on the front like this, and then you're gonna guide the person, like Lucy. You're gonna grab, like guide her to show her where the book is. And there's a lot of different steps to it, but I do know initially it'll be where they guide her, where Lucy will grab this one item off the top, hand it to the person, and then you say thank you for the honey barbecue corn chips, and then I stick it back there. Or okay, and then when you get a little bit more advanced in it, they start putting two objects on the top and then they do the same thing over and over and eventually I think they went to I think they said they went to five this is three but I think they said that they went to five objects on top for Lucy and she mastered out of that pretty quickly so now they're working on where she flips through the book and we've been kind of having issues with her doing that one to flip through the book looking for the objects which is not really a problem but she's grabbing the wrong objects for us so she's still learning and I've tried to put them on top like they do at school and she's not wanting to do that because now at school they're doing the other way. So, um, yeah, so this is the way they do it. Um, you could make these, I'm sure, but these are just like pictures and then they have like Velcro on the back. They're laminated. So, if, I know they sell them or something like this, but there's ways how to make these too. But if I find one similar to this, I'll link it in the thing below. I'm not sure if I will or not, but I personally don't make any of these. So, this came from her school. And they provided all this. So we're going to show you how this works. If Lucy will cooperate. So we'll see. But we don't normally do this at home. So because she's normally at school for eight hours a day. So usually when she's home. We kind of let her relax and chill. And most times we overall kind of know what she wants. So there's very few times that it's very confusion. Or have any confusion with what she wants. A lot of things she can access. She knows where to find her bottles in the fridge. She can grab them herself. If she wants things she guides us and does that. So. So yeah, this is the the traveling one, and eventually, whenever she gets a little bit older and progresses, then it moves to like on a phone or an iPad, where then they click on the digital part. So yeah, so we'll get into it, guys. So hard to do. Percy, get the. Corn chips? Mm, yeah, but they're downstairs. I don't 
Lima, baby. Get yourself on. Mm -hmm. What's your chips. So I'm trying to show him that he was never here for it. So when she gets into the Pex card, then you say, okay, thank you. Here's, thank you. Your, here's your go. barbecue corn chips. There you go. There's chips. Now you gotta try them all. Sweet honey barbecue flavored um, corn chips. <laughs> you gotta start using your Pex system. Thank you. There you go. Mm. Chips. Good job. Now normally they would have her just one chip, but we're at home, so. But normally that's how it would work. And then she'd have to ask for more, just for the purpose of teaching her. Oh, let's see. Sofa. She's like, I'm not a school guy. No, no, you're not supposed to be following her. No, I know. Hang on, I'm trying to show her. That's what we're trying to prop her to. Okay, Brian's never done this before. She knows how to do all of this stuff. She has been doing this for a year now. She's not new. Brian is. She's playing games because you know daddy doesn't know the rules, huh? You want, the goal is you want her to pick out the card? person that's supposed to hand the object back to her. Brian's not normally here when we do this, so it makes it a little bit more difficult because she's not used to having multiple people in the room. So, and it's really difficult. I'm currently the one holding the camera. You don't know how to do this. <laughs> Here, you're fine. Give me the phone. Okay. You do not want to. You're not supposed to shake the book, or basically, she's already visually saw it, so she knows that her book is right there. She's been doing this for years, if so she knows. And the goal, the reason why you do this is because you want. The reason why you want her to find the book and hand to the person who has the object is you want her to hand whoever has the object, no matter who the person is, no matter how far away they are. And we want her to do it on her own by grabbing the book. It's not really helpful if we're giving her the cards. She's She's been doing this for a year now, but she's kind of in a playful mood tonight. She's probably not going to show you how it works. But normally what she do does is hand grab the card and hands it to whoever has the object. Normally it's me, but... For the sake of this video. Hey girl. She's playing games. She's like, it's Sunday, guys. <laughs> what you see there? You see yourself? I'm sure that's what she actually wants. They just recently started a few days ago where she'll pick out the cards at school doing this way. That's why she keeps doing that now. Like there's so many options. Okay, what'd you pick out? Thank you. She picked out honey barbecue corn chips. Let me see. <laughs> She's 
Lucy, can we stop licking the fridge? No. Thank you. Here's your. Lucy, baby doll. Get out of the fridge. Stop licking the fridge. Here's your corn chip. You don't even want them. But she did good because you hid that from her. Hid what from her? This. You put it in the binder. And she scrolled through and picked it out and then did one. Giving them the wrong one. You want corn chips? Thank, Thank you. you. Here's your barbecue chip. We wanted it to. Let me try again with her some other time. She's kind of in a playful mood. She does this really good at school and she just mastered out of it, so. She shook her head, yes. But she didn't want to cooperate today, and that's okay. Um, hang on, hang on. But yeah, just it. go ahead and give it back to me. I am. Okay, I'm just to okay so food. we're not going to. We're not going to go much further into this tonight. She's not wanting to do it. So we'll try this again um, some other time, and then hopefully she'll cooperate a little better, or maybe one of the things open back up, and I can show you actually at her ABA school and how they do it. Um, I've, been, I've been guided through them on how to do it, and it's been a few months since they actually told me exactly how to do everything. But, yeah. So let's try this again. Let me see. Lucy. Bye bye. Say bye. Bye. Where are you going? Lucy. <laughs> there's, there's no bottle in there. Say bye. Yeah, bye. Trying to do it. Bye bye. Yay. There you go. Good job. <laughs> All right, thank you for watching. We'll try this again some other time, and we'll see you next time.